Hey everyone, so today I have a tutorial that is for a quilted sunglass case because I am always scratching my sunglasses in my purse or they will break in my purse and I don't I don't buy expensive sunglasses but I still want them to last a while so I'm gonna show you how to make a quilted sunglass case so that your sunglasses will last as long as you want them to or you can also use it for regular glasses as well you will need two fabrics Pellon fusible fleece thread a marking tool cutting tools a ruler an iron and ironing surface and a sewing machine. Measure the length and width of your sunglasses. Add one and three quarters to two inches to the height. Multiply the length by two and add two and a quarter inches. Cut pieces from your fabrics and fusible fleece using the measurements you came up with. Find the textured side of the fusible fleece and place it against the inside of the pattern fabric. Cover with a piece of fabric, spritz with water, and iron to fuse. Mark where you want to quilt, then sew along the lines. Fold the outer and lining in half, right sides together, and sew along all the long edges. Turn the outer piece right side out. Place the lining inside so the wrong sides are together. Line up the top edges and side seams. Zigzag around the top edge. Turn the edge under about half an inch and top stitch to finish. I've been using my sunglass case for about a week and I really like it. Um, not only is it protecting my sunglasses, but it also makes it easier to find them in my purse. And so uh, I hope you give this tutorial a try. I wanted to introduce someone on this video before I ended it. And it is the newest addition to our family. And it is little Miss Lily. She is a dog that we adopted this week. She's a little over a year old and a dachshund. And we got her at our local shelter. And so she's just been hanging out and kind of getting adjusted to being at our house and meeting Annie and her and Annie are doing good together so far and so she's just a little sweetie pie we finally got her name today we couldn't decide on one but she is a little sweetie and you'll probably see her in a few of my upcoming videos just because I like showing her and Annie and so don't forget to subscribe and you will see those and I'll have a new tutorial up every Thursday and I will see everyone later bye